Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the best investing money management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top stocks under $20. Now, a lot of these stocks are going to be higher risk, higher reward investments. So my recommendation is do your own research before you guys invest. Take everything I say with a grain of, a grain of salt. So let's start off with number one. The very first stock that we're going to be looking at is Neo. For those of you that don't know what Neo is, Neo is a electric car manufacturer. They're based out of uh, China, and they're pretty much the Tesla of China. And over the past couple of years, we've seen some extreme growth from the stock, the company, and the overall electric vehicle sector. A lot of people are looking for that next Tesla, causing a lot of stocks to become overvalued. And that's kind of what we saw with Neo, right? There was a lot of expectations with this thing. This thing blew up. It went from $3 all the way up to about $66 per share. And then it just started stair stepping its way down. Now, Neo is a great company. They bring in a lot of money, but they have had some problems, right? They've had some problems with supply chain, delivering, but on the revenue, they always seem to do pretty decent. They did release earnings, and here's the thing they beat the revenue, but the company came out and said, hey, we're going to be having a slower couple of quarters. Um, which caused the stock now to actually skyrocket like it normally would have if it came out with solid earnings. And if we actually go to the five day chart, you can kind of see we just had a little bit of some consolidation. They released the earnings, fell down a little bit. It went from 22 all the way to about $19 right on that support line. So for me, Neo carries a lot of potential given that it's right on that support. I always recommend picking up a couple of shares. You can never go wrong with owning this stock here. Moving on to stock number two. Stock number two is probably one of my favorite stocks out there, SoFi Technologies. Now, for those of you that don't know what SoFi is, SoFi is a fintech company. They bring in a lot of money and they're huge competitors with like Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, um, any banking company out there. It's a broker that's, uh, that allows you to buy and sell stocks. It's also a credit card company. It's also a loan settlement company for refinancing your student loans. It's also a crypto exchange and a whole bunch of other things. I've used their platform. I actually do use it. Um, it's a very, very easy platform. And that's one of the main reasons why I love it is because I use it. Yes, I completely understand that over the past couple of years or the past couple of months, excuse me, we've seen a lot of sell off from that. Now for me, yes, I understand that we have that general downward trend, you know, but looking at some of these earnings, you can see they've done very, very well. Surprise, 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 surprise. Every time they, they release some sort of earnings, they're doubling um, they're, they're active users. They're bringing in a lot of money. Now for, for this general sell-off, for me, that does look like a good opportunity to pick up a couple of shares. You know, we've had a whole bunch of analysts come out and say that their price target is right at about $22 to $24. So given that the stock's only about $9 per share, I cannot go wrong with having it. But for me, great stock to have. But moving on to stock number, what is this, number three? We have ticker symbol A-R-L-O. Now you guys can see this stock does have a great upward trend. And this is a security company. They have like security wireless uh, cameras and all of that stuff. So one of the main reasons why I love this one, this is going to be more of a short term trade. Now looking at it, yes, we have this beautiful upward trend. And looking at it, it's having this tendency to use this 90 moving average line, also this blue, the blue line, the 90 moving average line as some support. So it's hit it several times and every single time we get some decent amount of buying pressure near and around there. Not to mention guys, if we actually draw out the trends, the support is right here at this you know, $8.75 mark. So given I personally think we'll hit that, use it as some support and start moving its way back up to this $11 mark. Now, yes, you can literally set your stop loss. You could even set it below $8. So you're risking 75 cents to possibly make three or $4. For me, that's a great risk and reward situation. And looking at their past earnings, I definitely think we will see some more buying pressure step in because they released very, very good earnings. Surprise, 
on both the EPS and the revenue, which is fantastic. You cannot go wrong with swing trading a stock like this. The next one here um, we do have is ticker symbol HNST. Now this is also known as Honest. This company came out, it had their IPO and really ha has been just selling off like crazy as you guys can see. This is the Jessica Elba company um, and it's pretty much like that food company that um, you, you may you may see in like Target or places like that, and you can see yes we have this general downward trend, and I understand that their past couple of earnings have not been the greatest, but I definitely think this will be a stock that could easily two or three x in the next couple of years, just because of this overall demand that we've seen one from this company and two when they released their IPO. Um, Everybody was getting out of these huge runs for their IPO, right? We, we, we went through this time where everybody, any IPO would pop up. And then this company released it and then it just sold off. And so I definitely think, yes, this is going to be a higher risk investment for sure, just because the past couple of earnings have not been the greatest, but it's still a stock to at least keep on watch for a stock that's only four dollars and sixty, you know, sixty-eight cents. For me, that's the lowest point that this stock's ever been. And yeah, we could easily see this sell off more just because of that general downward trend. But for me, I I would I wouldn't go wrong putting a hundred or two hundred dollars into this, and just letting it ride and seeing what happens with it for the next couple of years just because of the overall demand I've seen from it, um, and I personally used it. So it's definitely one to keep on watch here. The next one here, we have ticker symbol N-E-X-T. Now this one company is also known as Next Decade. Looking at it, we've seen this kind of this slow stagnant where it was just selling off, wasn't doing much. Then over the past couple of weeks, we've seen huge amounts of buying pressure. So if we actually go here, what's really cool about Moomoo is they will kind of tell you uh, what's going on with it. And you guys can see that they've done very, very good stuff on their quarterly reports. So when they came out for their quarterly, it blew expectations, causing a huge amount of buying pressure. Stock went from $2 all the way up to $6.36. And what's really, really cool about this is we act, if we actually go to the five-day chart, you guys can see here just by looking at it, does have some support here at about this $6.25, resistance up here at $6.61. Six, uh, $6 but one of the main reasons why I love it is if we draw it out, we have this beautiful upward trend. So for me, this would be more of a swing trade stock that I would look at to get into. Um, just because we had that general upward trend. And th this stock could easily continue to move up and we could slowly start get getting some more and more buying pressure for this. Um, for me, I would set my stop loss at about $6.22, hop into this thing, see if we can break out of $6.61. So guys, these are all the stocks that I'm looking at for under $20. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like always, do your own research before investing. These are just my recommendations for stocks to at least keep on watch. I'm not saying to go heavy into all of them. Most of them are high risk, high reward. But go from there, guys. We will see you guys later in another episode. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive and stay safe. Take care.